This is a demo about inserting datum features. It's quite simple, but once in a while people forget. I'm showing datum A and B on the screen right now. I will delete them and show you how to insert them. Using annotation tab on the bottom under the for the tool. Annotation has a feature here called datum. You may have to hit the arrow to the right if it's not showing to expand this to find the datum feature. Okay, so the first one on the list is datum feature. That's the one I want to use. You simply hit the bottom line, click a position, okay, and that's how you insert a datum. Notice that a is the first one, so I always pick datum A, B, and C in order. I will select this one over here. Oops, select datum feature. Select this one over here, and what you want to do is put it in about in the middle of the line, approximately. And your A and B should look uh, this line from the triangle that's touching the feature to the box that's defining the datum should be somewhat close in equal length. So again when you hit datum a little box is going to come up after you pick a line. So I don't know how this just happened but this is a good thing to learn. I'm going to it's doing something weird here where it's not active on my part I'm going to hit escape somehow it jumped to the ISO view. I'm going to double click and get back into the front view with the front view active when I hit datum and click an edge it now does that correctly so when you hit your datum there should be a box somewhere here telling you you can edit that and change it to like D or something Oh. I click a position and then this box shows up way up here on top hiding up ah, and it took it I was trying to drag it down so you could see when you select the datum feature and grab an edge the datum C comes in you can't change it until you click a location and then the box on the very top will come up seems kind of cumbersome how they did this but up here is your datum feature I hope you're able to see up on the top there's a datum feature there. That pop-up window should come up after you locate your datum and you could type in a new letter like D. Make sure everything's in capital letters. I hit enter. Okay, and click off anywhere just to see that you got your datum D. Datum features are used for creating measurements from the for the shop so when you put a datum feature on a drawing you're telling the shop to measure all measurements from the datum feature so for example on the right side you see dimensions one two and three you're telling the shop to dimension everything from the bottom up and that's typical we don't normally say let's measure from the top down you don't measure from the ceiling down you usually measure from the floor up we do the same thing when we build a part we tell the shop measure from the bottom up that means that this measurement here must start from here and come to one and this measurement for number two doesn't start off of this line and go up and it doesn't come off of this line and go down it comes from the datum and comes up same thing for the three inch dimension it starts from here and goes all the way to the top and this dimension over here the 2625 starts on the left goes to this one the 4.065 starts on the left and goes to this one, not from here over. Okay, so the reason why is if I want this thing to be three inches tall, if I'm coming from the datum, worst case scenario, this is going to be 3.03 .03 due to engineering tolerance. engineering tolerance is specified to be plus or minus 30 thou in our general notes which will mean your dimensions 
zero would be the ideal number, 3.003 would be the maximum condition, 2.97 would be the minimum condition, giving you a tolerance of 0.06. That was a quick tip on how to insert your datum features.